What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, it was a first time for everything, yeah? We won not one, but two badges in our last episode. Technically, they're the fourth badge in both Sword and Shield, but we still got it! We still did it! And I, show and I showcase a lot of evolutions, too. Lots and lots of evolutions. So... After defeating the fourth gym leader, you are able to capture level 40, po uh, level 40 Pokemon. And, uh, well, once you step outside the gym, something else happens right here. Something weird. Not weird, but something just, uh, yeah, just something happens right here. And, uh, well, this is what happens. Pork! Oh, damn. Oh, look! It's a Yamper and... Well, hello, hello there. It's our girlfriend, Sonia, right here. Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? I know, huh? Anyways, we've run into uh, each other at a good time. You know the mural in Stow Inside? It's said to tell the story of a hero of Galar. Well, of Galar as well. Though, what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be there. You tend to, uh, you tend to have surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering what you might think when you uh, see the ruins. Kaboom! Okay, so something big just happened right here, and it, it, that, that did not sound anything good. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. What, what in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Yamper. Okay. Uh, yeah, something just happened right here, guys, and uh, that was not good at all. So, that happens, and now we actually have to go back to where the mural is at, and, well, if you talk to this guy, what's going on? I heard a huge noise come from this direction of the mural. Oh, wow. Is this some sort of surprise event for tourists? Do not know. So, yep, we are running all the way to the mural, and if you guys don't remember, there is a big old painting right there, and uh, there's our girlfriend. But before we do that, let's go ahead and grab this. Look at that. We got ourselves a max revive, and, uh, well... What's going up up there? I don't know. Something's going on. Something pretty big. And, uh, well, we tend to find out because we are the, uh, oh, crap. This guy. Uh, great. So here we have our, uh, quote-unquote rival, Bede. He's like, destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. Rush. This guy. We've got to, we've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if you want to please him. Kaparaja. if you truly, uh, if the, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, when you should feel grateful for this stand, this chance to help him find wishing stars. Can't even read properly, but whatever, guys. Okay, well, this guy right here has been a thorn in our side, and well, once we go up to him, he's like, oh my, you again. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get the chairman's favor? Favor, I should say. That's the way of uh, that's the way of things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning in you, but I don't have it. I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Yeah, well, here we go. Another gym. Well, another, another another gym battle. No, but we're another uh, rival battle right here. Wow, I can't even speak today. Holy crap. Okay, so here we go. Another rival battle against Bede, and he will be coming out with a Duosion, and uh, we all know what type in this guy is, so here we're coming out with Dumbledore, and unfortunately, yeah, type disadvantage, or type matchup is not that good, so let's go ahead and switch out, let's go to our Baconator right here, that's right, Baconator versus a Duosion right here, and hopefully this Pokemon doesn't have any kind of strong moves or anything, and uh, well, here comes a Psyshock attack, and just like that, he takes a lot of HP because it was a critical hit. Holy crap. Okay, let's go. Bite, uh, bug bite. And hopefully this will actually do something, and that takes away Duosion. Yeah, buddy. Don't ever mess with the Baconator. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. All right, well, then how come you never beat me? That's what I want to know. Okay, so here he comes out with a Gotharita, and uh, well, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay put with the same Pokemon right here because, uh, as we all know, Gotharita, psychic type Pokemon as well. So here we go again with another Bug Bite. Let's go, Baconator. Baconator does his thing. <laughs> looks like it's gonna be a Baconator sweep. It looks like it. And look at that, more experience points for all of us. And he's gonna be coming out with a Ponyta. 
Okay. I have a good feeling that it's only going to be a Galarian Ponyta, so bring it. And there it is, Galarian Ponyta. Now, this Pokemon right here is a Psychic-type Pokemon. So if you guys are thinking that, oh, it's a Fire-type Pokemon, nope, that is a, uh, <laughs> nope. That is not true. And because of that, look at that, Psybeam hits us. And, well, we're not, we're, we're not in the best of conditions. But hopefully for us, it gets us a big bug bite. And, <laughs> oh, yeah, it does it. It does it. Oh my god. And, uh, well, more experience points. And here he's going to be coming out with a hat dream. So, <laughs> it looks like to us it's going to be a freaking Baconator sweep. I don't even need to freaking read this whole thing. Alright, bring on your hat dream. Oh yeah. And here comes its anticipation. Well, Bug Bite, please do your trick. And yes, he snapped out of confusion. Let's go. Bug Bite for the win. Suck it. <laughs> well, that does it for us. Baconator grows to level 37. And Bead has been embarrassed. He's like, this has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. Man, you have a stick-up. Like, you have a very big stick-up here, you know what. But why? How could this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the chosen, or I, I was one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was defeat, who has to defeat the champion. I'm, I'm one of the elite, someone who can shoulder the future of Gala region. You know, this kind of sounds like Vegeta right here. Although you're not as cool as Vegeta, and oh crap, baskets! Challenge your bead. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's in trouble. I wonder what I wonder what you were up to when you asked to borrow the Chairman Rose's Copper Raja. I can't believe you try to use a, the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares? Uh, who cares for some ru uh, ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of the Pokemon Simple Beam or something? How can, how do you expect to support the Chairman with that with that sort of thinking? Oh God! Here we go. Young Bead. Hmm. It pays me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am here, or that I am the one who found you. Back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me of a you reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you sent you to the trainer school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural part of Galler's history? You show no love towards Galler. You are clearly not worthy of challenger. Uh, you're not, or you're clearly not a worthy challenger for the Gal the Galler challenge. I can't even read, guys. I'm sorry. I'm tired today. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. He doesn't sound happy. You, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge? But you're the one who endorsed me! There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger Bead, I will be taking those squishy stars that you have gathered. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 damn! And he got ruffled up and uh, just like that. <laughs> He's gone. He gone. Ah, Sonya and Draven too. Terrible shame of all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet, we do what we must uh, We must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. Oh, damn. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> wow. Literally, handle, layeth the smack it down on Beat's candy ass. Wow. You know, during one of Beat's matches, I heard the announcer say that Beat has no family. Apparently it was a it was Rose or it was Rose who took Beat under his wing, and so Beat was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the murals survive all all of, all of that. Mm, me too. Me too, but unfortunately, this happens. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow, that is a uh... wow. 
So this is something new right here, guys. And it looks like to us more history of Galar or more of Galar's history has been opened up to us. And, well, not a brilliant turn of events, but this, but the ruins were brought into the light for, uh, for us to see. What does this tell us about the Galar legends? Pokemon or a Sword and Shield? Um, you know what? Let's go with Sword and Shield. Right. More than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? Hero. Um, you know what? Let's go with the... Uh, <laughs> you know what? Let's go with the hero. <laughs> oh, good observation. There... There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Budu drop in? Hmm. That is a good question. More than any statue of a hero or uh, old tapestry, these ruins made it truly made in truly uh, or made truly ancient times must show us the real truth, which means. Uh, well, since I am playing sword, let's go. The sword is a Pokemon. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like uh, at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and shield were actually Pokemon, but why would why would the truth of these uh, ruins be hidden uh, when their, their stories were depicted in artwork? Hmm. That's a mystery in itself. With your help, I really feel, or I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these so you can keep, or so you can keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too. Okay? Guess you'll be headed to ba what was it? To ba Balloon Leo next, right? Sure. And look at that. We got ourselves two revives. Very, very good stuff. And uh, well, look at that. Look at that. So, we just discovered something new, and it's starting to look like something pretty pretty intense right here. It's the statues that were hidden behind the stone inside famous, famous mural. They depict two heroes and two Pokemon. Hmm. You don't say. Okay, so, yes, I know this is a short episode right here, guys, but it, you know, didn't really want to fit it all into the last episode since I was trying to focus on both Sword and Shield's gym challenges and all that stuff, so... That, that, yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much how it's going to be for this walkthrough right here, too. So, in the next episode, we are going to be going into the forest right here, going straight to Balonia Town, or Balonia, I don't even know how to, yeah, I don't even know how to name, uh, how to name the name or anything. If you want to get Balonia, you'll need to make uh, your way through Glimwood Tangle. Remember, Glimwood Tangle, it's important, it's important to touch the mushrooms. I'll keep that in mind. So, in the next episode, we will be going into the Glimwood, the Glimwood Tangle. Can't even pronounce that right. But in the next episode, we will be seeing it through the Shield version's uh, perspective because there is a specific Pokemon that I want to showcase in that place. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.